Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're looking at is jibing downwind. So we're looking at the crew positions, the fore deck, and your job is obviously to move the pole from side to side, but you've got to do it as quick as you can to try and aid the middle of the boat to let the spinnaker keep flying through the jibe. If you can keep the spinnaker flying, it's worth a huge, huge amount of gain by the time you reach the bottom mark. Being able to jibe in 20 knots of breeze gives the helmsman all the extra confidence he needs to turn the boat in and make that difficult call. So as the bowman, as you come into the jibe, you want to be standing on the weather side of the boom, on the pole, and you always want to try and stand on the weather side. So as you come in, you'll hear the, the call to trip the pole. So I always go for the in, inboard end first, and you've taken the load out of the chute. You then simply let the sheet out the pole. I'm going to twist it over because there's no load in it, but normally it would fly out of the end of the pole as soon as you pull the, the release. And then you move across the boat with it and instantly pick up the new sheet. So you instantly pick up and sheet the new sheet. And then pass the pole across the boat. And this is the important bit. You need to remain with a wide body stance in the middle of the boat. So you've got to keep your feet in a good position so that if the boat rocks and rolls, you can always stand. And it's always good to stand with your back to the mast because you've always then got something to lean against. So the next thing is to then push the pole out. But the important thing here is not to push it sideways because then you're forcing against the whole load of the spinnaker sheet, which is now going to be loading up as you come through the outside of the turn. So when you push out, always push forwards and out, because now you're pushing down the sheet instead of fighting the whole weight of the spinnaker. So as you push out, use your shoulder, and you can then use that weight to beak it onto the pole. The reason you want to end up on the windward side of the sheet is if you don't quite make the, the pole and it loads up, the pole will shoot off to leeward and not shoot into you. So you've got to remain on the windward side of the pole and use your shoulder, which is why this position is good and strong, and push up. And then you're in secure and it's down to the middle guys to keep the chute flying through the rest of the jibe. Your next thing is to tidy up as much as you can. Through jibes, the jib will often fall to one side or it was always on the wrong side of the boat. So you've got to try and get the, the rest of the flake jib back on the boat and out of the water. Again, that's worth that extra little bit of speed as you go downwind.